Welcome in adventurers. This is Cohalen's Adventurous Channel Update weekly update for Wednesday, April 3rd. And I'm calling it Out of My Head from a fastball song. Was I out of my head? Was I out of my mind? How could I have ever been so blind? I was waiting for an invitation. It was hard to find. Part of that is because um, I had two cancellations of interviews over the last two weeks and nobody scheduled for this week. Uh, so I guess I had a good run of it. I only had one break, which was back for Thanksgiving week. I couldn't get anybody. But I had somebody scheduled for last week who canceled first. The person scheduled the week before that postponed. So I got to fill in that spot and then that was canceled. So kind of took the wind out of my sails. Um, so no interview, no interview scheduled at least for a while. Uh, we'll, we'll see if I can find somebody else who wants to talk to me. Uh, I thought I was doing okay, but mm, maybe other people have seen my videos and were less impressed. Anyway, uh, on to the numbers. Uh, this is, like I said, number uh, channel update number 113, 113. Uh, last week we were at 3,667 adventures. We crossed the border into 3,700. So we're 3,732 adventures. And we went from 4.5, no, 45.6 thousand watch hours to 48.6 thousand watch hours, which seems to be kind of consistent. A little less uh, adventurers joining us this last week. Uh, but I got news from vidIQ that my views have now hit, and this is different than watch hours. Watch hours is just cumulative. Uh, but the views have hit almost 2 million. It's 1.9 hundred thousand yeah one million nine hundred thousand views uh, as of last week um, let me see if I can bring up the exact date oh last day of the month so it was um, Easter Sunday it was a miracle anyway uh, so last week who I saw Wednesday, uh, last minute, I drove up to buy tickets to see Dweezil Zappa for the box office is open at the Orpheum only on Wednesdays. So I went up there and bought that ticket and thought, well, I'm in that vicinity. Maybe I'll go up and see Doug Webb at All Stars at the Baked Potato that night. Uh, but I got notification that morning that at the 1881 room was this guy named Ricky Z, who I didn't know anything about, but I looked him up and he played with tons of people. And Steve Ferrone, who I'd just seen with um, Toshinagi's Buzz Wizards on Monday, was playing there that night. So um, that got me to make the decision to see them. And it was also Brandon Fields and Rene Camacho, who I've seen many times up there at the 1881 room with Jimmy Branley and whomever on guitar. Uh, so this was um, a nice change. I put several videos of that. The first set, lighting was okay. Second set, the manager dimmed the lighting to the point where it's kind of dark, but the sound is great. I have a lot of good videos, so check those out. Um, and then Friday, Big show at the Baked Potato, Alfonso Johnson, Weather Report's second bass player. I think it was Miroslav Vitos and then him, uh, and then went to Jocko, and I think there might have been somebody slipping in and out on albums, just a couple of cuts, but Alfonso was one of the original guys, and uh, legendary bass players, played with tons of people. Um, and he had, let's see, who was in that? Simon Phillips on drums, Mitch Foreman on keyboards. Um, I'm going to have to look it up. Um, last week. Uh, 
Oh, Alex Sill, who had been with Simon Phillips before in guitar. Uh, a guy named Christian Hebel on violin. Uh, I don't know where this guy had been before, but virtuoso uh, level. Very, very cool uh, violinist. As I told him after the show, I'd seen Jerry Goodman with Mahavishnu, and I saw John McPony with Mahavishnu and also with Zappa, and now I've seen him. So um, look look for his name, H-E-B-E-L, uh, Christian Hebel. Very strong violinist, very impressive. And they had a percussionist, and then they had a guest uh, pedal steel player, Greg Lees, who I saw outside, and guy looked familiar to me, but context, I wasn't placing him in a jazz vein so it's like oh my god of course great anyway uh that was friday saturday i had bl planned to go see nathan and noah east at campus jacks i did see the show but i saw it on live stream um combination of just malaise not enough money i'd made the mistake of making my deposit into my bank account rather than my debit card so i wouldn't get the money immediately it wouldn't show up until the next business day which luckily was monday but it still didn't help situations um and then i had i have an annual easter gathering that i go to and it was rainy on easter so that kind of inhibited my possible plans of going up to the right off room to see deep cuts deep cuts had at least three people that i knew in the group um let me see where did i have them oh uh ben thomas of one shot deal and woody minkowski minkowski who i'd seen with Toshinagi's version of Charisma um, when Dave Garfield was ill with COVID. This was like way back, uh, 2021, 2022, something like that. And a guy named Jordan Katz, who I've seen once before, he was playing with Dan Byrne at the um, release party for the Regent Street album at a place that no longer exists uh, in Los Angeles. Uh, it was a very cool venue. But you know, that was also the first time I saw Leia Zager because she played with his group as well. Um, so I, I had wanted to go see that. It was only $15 at the door plus whatever parking. <coughs> but as I said, it was a rainy night. Uh, I'd already had a very good time at the um, annual Easter gathering and just decided not to to push situations. So that was last week. This week, Friday, going back up to the baked potato to see Don Randy and Quest. I've seen many times before, but this is kind of a special evening because they go annually to Iceland to do these shows with the guys from Quest. And one of the guys from Iceland, a singer named Year Olaf, so I hope I'm not destroying it, he'll be coming here to play with them. And the normal guys, Don Randy on keyboards, uh, Bernie Dressel, who used to be the regular drummer, Jonathan is now kind of the regular drummer, but Jonathan's not on the show this week, and H. Chris Roy on bass, um, it's been Jerry Watts often, but uh, Chris has often been the bass player. Uh, and then John DePatty and Pete Corpella. Uh, those are the sort of normal Quest members, but they're having special artists coming in on this one. Uh, horn section, Brandon Fields, who you guys know about. Uh, Brian Scanlon, who I've seen before and I can't place where, both of them on sax. A guy named Chad Lewis on trumpet and Nick Lane, I think it's spelled wrong or I spelled it wrong, uh, but he'll be on trombone. So trombone, trumpet, two saxes, and then 
the Quest Band backing Don Randy with guest vocalist Gear Olafs, G-E-I-R. I hope that's pronounced Gear. Anyway, that's Friday night. Looking forward to that. And then, um, where am I? Oh, uh, Saturday. There are three potentials. Um, one, it's a hike to get to. It's at uh, Rancho Mirage Golf and Resort Spa in Rancho Mirage, California. It's a bit pricey, but it's it's the music of Al Jarreau by members of people who have played with Al Jarreau before. My friend Tristan and them, M. Bowden on drums, uh, Kiki Ibsen on vocals and keyboards, Lane Castro on percussion, and many other players on that. Um, so that's a possibility. That's in the $60 price range. Uh, Roger McGuinn at Soka between 30 and 60. Soka University is certainly closer, um, but recording there is, is problematic. So, and I've seen Roger before. Um, managed to get a couple of videos at various different places. I saw him at Thousand Oaks um, and uh, Chris Hillman guesting the last couple of numbers on that and then I saw him um, with the 50th anniversary of Sweetheart of the Rodeo album with Neil uh, with Chris Hillman and um, backed by Marty Stewart and the superlatives I'm missing a word out of that um, and they also that was the first time I'd ever seen Mike Campbell he came out and did some songs so um, I've, I've seen Roger a few times, uh, not counting the back in the old days, but probably the most possible one is going back up to Urban Press and seeing the cookies there with Alan Hines and Max and Lewis and Bobby Watson, and whoever they have for the drummer, and maybe a guest keyboardist like the last time, who knows. So I will do one of those three, depending on my willingness to drive and the economics of it all. We'll see. Um, and then another possibility on um, Monday is Aaron Janik, who I, I first saw with Myron McKinley, and then I just recently saw him in a group. Oh, it was uh, Tom Rotella. Um, look at those videos. It, that's Brandon Fields, Aaron Janik, a guy named Ido... Musselin on, on, it's not slide trombone, it's a valve trombone. Uh, so that, that's a real interesting possibility. Um, so that, that will be the week. Uh, the following week, there's a lot of really good stuff and good possibilities coming up. Busy, busy week. Um, potential of one, two, three, four, five shows in a seven day week, maybe, well, yeah, five, possibly six. Um, so I, I could be very busy and very exhausted. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, I started to do a Shopify store. Um, that's problematic. The, the, the things that you can have made to order, uh, they cost more than I, I would end up paying for someone to buy it. Uh, so I've got to figure out how to make that work. I had a mug and a hoodie and um, well, they were going to say Coalence Adventures get thee to a, an, uh, a concert on them. So working on that and then there's, I've got actually, there's Shopify and there's Shipify or something like that. Uh, Shopify is the actual store that you buy through. And if I can get it up on a sellable situation, I can link that to my YouTube channel and people can buy directly from the YouTube store. That hasn't happened yet. If I can't get it to work well, then um, I'll just cancel Shopify and 
wait for a time when I, I can feasibly do that. But let me know your thoughts. Would you be interested in a mug or a hoodie or a t-shirt um, that said Kohalen's Adventures and get thee to a concert so you could recognize other people who go to concerts that watch the channel? Um, that'd be interesting to see. And, and I had an idea of a, uh, a notebook of copious notes and little gnomes with notes all over the cover and on each page. So that's another thing I'm working on. But uh, right now it's just in the possibility planning stage. So that's what's going on. Like I said, was I out of my head? Was I out of my mind? Um, we'll see. Anyway, until then, get thee to a concert and as always, much love. Take care.